right is Christopher Fox once again. And this is a request the same for me for Tay Tay. And the name of this video is SML Movie Cody's Lawsuit. Or right, check it out. Yay. Hey school. Uh, me too, dude. Come on guys, cheer up. School's great. <laughs> <Are you laughs> Jamie Patton is diaper. Learn new things. These are the best years of our lives. Jeffy hit him. <laughs> Well, the bus is coming. Hopefully it runs you over. Yeah. Darn. It didn't hit you, Cody. Maybe next time, dude. Let's get on the bus. Ooh, look, a quarter. Hey, I got a quarter. Ooh. Oh, Shut the door. Open the door. Open the door. All right. Is everyone on the bus? Uh, yeah. I don't think we're missing anybody. Where's Cody? I think he's sick. All right. Let's go to school. Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> you got you screaming? You little tool! Oh, I always hear a voice in my head screaming, kill everybody! I thought it was just me. <laughs> well, no, I think it's coming from outside. What? Cody? What are you doing outside the bus? You're supposed to ride inside it. Cody, I tell him to stop the bus! Okay, I'll tell him to stop. Hey, stop the bus! I'm not stopping the bus. We gotta go to school. You're dragging Cody! I'm not dragging anything. Go back to your seat! <laughs> yeah. Cody's gonna be fucked up. Oh my god! Kind of does. Really got hit by a I'm gonna lie. Ooh, tricky question. Well, I guess if I get hit by a train, I would have died, so I'll take the bus. See, look, you got hit by what you wanted. What? I didn't choose this. Yeah, yes, you did. I said a bus or a train. You chose a bus. Oh, Junior, Junior, if I could move, I'd hit you. Cody, tell your friends to leave. It's time to insert your catheter. No, oh, hell no. It's a catheter. It's a needle that goes in your pee hole. Ew! Hell yeah, it is. And I want the man to do it. It's hot. Um... You know what? Actually, on second thought, you don't even need a catheter. You're, you're ready to be discharged. You can go home now. I can't believe you were hit by that bus. You know, if you were to sue the school, you'd make a lot of money. Light bulb. Yeah, yeah it's a good idea. I'm going to sue the school. Ow! Junior, why? But there's a fly. What? How many flies are there in this goddamn hospital? Well, you said you were going to sue the school? Yes, I'm going to sue the school because they own the school bus. Now I'm going to sue them. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you want us to pick you up and take you home? Yes, just drag me home. Poor Cody. He never gets how fucked he does. He flies. Just put me down gentle. So, Cody, how much money are you going to sue the school for? I was thinking $5 million. $5 million? You're asking for a lot, dude. That's a lot of gravy. Yeah, well, my insides are mashed potatoes from where the bus ran me over. Besides, I need that money for my pain and suffering. And I didn't even get my catheter, so what's the point? Aren't you just happy to be alive? No, I want money. Cody, let's play basketball. I bet you'll feel better after that. I can't. Why, because I'll beat you, huh? Well, no, go ahead and say it. No, Joseph's an idiot, idiot man. I'm full body cast and I can't move. Well, you guys, if you need me, I'm going to be on the basketball court dunking. I think you're just scared, Cody. Junior! There's someone at the door! Can, can you go get it? Junior, I'm in a full body cast. But I have an ingrown toenail on everything. <laughs> Junior! Okay, fine, I'll get it. Hello? Is Cody here? Yeah, his tracker isn't working. <laughs> we put a tracker in his booty and it went offline a few hours ago. And we paid good His parents don't know? So tell me what I said really? Is. If he took that tracker out, I'm gonna be one mad mama bear. You know what? I think it's pretty racist that they call black bears black bears because the color of their fur. And they call white bears polar bears. We should sign a petition to be called polar bears cracker bears. I think there's a restaurant called that. No, that's cracker Cocaine. Bear, baby. Uh, Cocaine bear. Cocaine bear. racist too. I think we need a black bear. I still need to see that movie, by the way, Cocaine Bear. Here's Cody. Oh my god, Cody, my baby, what happened to you? You better ain't got beat up by no girl, because if you did, I'm gonna laugh at you. Ah! No, I got run over by a bus. Oh my god, Cody, I told you those cartoons were dangerous. That Miss Frizzle and her magic school bus are a bad influence. Why didn't you look both it's ways? It's a creepy ass show, you man. You're supposed to be like the chicken that crossed the road. I did look both ways. I just got caught in the door of the bus, and then it dragged me around for a while before running me over. Excuses, excuses. Cody said he's gonna sue the school for five million dollars. He what now? Baby, I didn't know you gave birth to a cow. A cash cow. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, she's a big fat cow, so obviously she'd give birth to a cow. Cody, we're gonna sue the school, and then we're gonna take this to the news, and you're gonna buy mommy some new cans. And I'm oh my god. You. You're gonna have a little brother. <laughs> Come on, Cody, let's go get you the best boy we can. So Circumcised. So what do you think? What do I think? I'll tell you. You might hold this for me for a second. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I think it's going to be a slam dunk. You guys are about to get paid. I'm going to win no matter what. I could go into the courtroom with my wiener in my hand and I'd still win. Please do. You know what? I think I might. <laughs> What's this guy again? He's not a puppet this time. I am the Honorable Judge Boober. And today we will be hearing <laughs> the case of Cody Natchez versus the OIU Dumb Elementary School. Cody is suing the school for five million dollars. Cody's been better bit the earth as fuck. School bus. Plaintiff, proceed with your proceedings. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, imagine this. Your son just got done eating breakfast and he waves goodbye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I'm on my way to school. He walks out the door and walks to the bus stop. He finally gets there, and he's waiting for the bus to arrive. And out of nowhere, BAM! He gets hit by a bus, and he's left on the side of the road to die. Look, he looks like a mummy. He looks, <laughs> he looks like a mummy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm done with my proceedings. A very sad story indeed. Defendant, how do you... Defend your actions. Oh, it's my turn. Okay, man, don't worry. I'm gonna win this case in my opening statement. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, my client is clearly Chinese. A simple eye test will show that. And yeah. being Chinese, he's, you know, unfamiliar with American traffic laws. But, you know, Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees, look at these. His well, head's bigger than he we is. Don't make mistakes. You know, so what if he does make joke and pee pee in your coat? I think he still deserves a second chance at the American dream. I rest my case. Hmm, I see. Plaintiff, how do you respond? Guilty. We're not at that part yet. How do you respond to what he said? Oh, well, here's a photograph of my client before he was hit by a bus. Yeah, it's Just him. Just look at him. A normal, ugly-looking child. He and is ugly. A hideous freak of nature. Unrecognizable. <laughs> Looking like that, he will never get married and he'll never have a job. But five million dollars He's right there, you know. make him very rich because women love money. And gay. Men love money too. That's all I have to say. Well, I agree. We all love money. Defendant. Defend. Oh, yeah. Well, I can use pictures too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the court, can you tell me what this is? Oh, those are egg rolls. That's right, these are egg rolls. And this is what my client ate on the day he ran over the kid. Now, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me what ingredients are in egg rolls? Hmm? Anybody? Well, neither can I. So how do we know that the ingredients of this egg roll did not cause my client to not realize that he was dragging a kid on his school bus for miles while he yelled for help and then run him over? Hmm? We don't know that. Which is why I think we should be investigating the egg roll company, huh? H how do we know the egg roll company doesn't have some kind of chemical in there that, that, that causes... And some water pee that people are drinking that's making them fucked up. It's not these egg rolls. Okay, well, his wife made the egg rolls, but I think... It's the water, and it's the fucking water that's making people Maybe fucked up, not the fucking egg rolls. policy on him and was hoping he crashed his bus. Hmm, I think we should look into that. So suck it. Suck it, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, yeah. very good points. Hmm. Plaintiff, continue with your plaintiffing. Your Honor, my client is suffering from irreversible physical and psychological damage. He is afraid of school buses, something I like to call school busophobia. Allow me to demonstrate. All right, Cody, just like we practiced. Ah! See, he screamed at the very top of his lungs at the sight of a school bus, something that is supposed to carry him safely to and from school. How is my client supposed to get a quality education if he's afraid of school buses? <laughs> I rest my case, Your Honor. It's like with Patrick when he holds up the sponge. <laughs> that will be very hard to defend against defendant, but I dare you to try. Oh man, I am sweating bullets. I uh, I didn't print out any other pictures, but uh, hey, can I borrow that picture of that bus? Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, do you see this bus? This is not a picture of the bus that ran over the plaintiff. This is a stock photo of a bus. So why would he scream at a stock photo? He should only scream at a picture of the real bus. So I think he's faking it. I think he doesn't have any injuries. I, I mean, obviously he has physical injuries, but I think he doesn't have any psychological injuries. You know, I knew somebody who got run over by a bus, and he didn't bitch about it this much. I, I mean, he died, but, Your Honor, I object on the grounds that the plaintiff is being a little bitch about this whole thing. He should just be happy he's alive. I agree. He is lucky to be alive. Plaintiff. It is your tiff to plaint. Your Honor, I would like to call a witness. It's one of Cody's friends who was there that day and saw the whole thing. Junior, do you mind coming up here, please? What do I do? Could you just tell us everything that happened the day that Cody was hit by a bus? Yeah, so we were all getting on the bus, and Cody thought it would be cute to, like, ride under the bus and hang onto it like a monkey. Well, no, I didn't. I got stuck in the door. Well, look, all I saw is when I looked out the window, he was hanging onto the bus screaming, Wee, look at me! Well, no, I was saying, help me, stop the bus! Well, he talked about this for weeks before he did it. I object to my own witness. Get the hell out of here. Why didn't we even call him in here? I don't know. I thought he was my friend. Hmm. How incriminating. Defendant. Do your thing. No, 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 hold on, I want his witness. I want to talk to you. What's up? Well, you said he did all this on purpose? I mean, he had to. Why else would he be underneath the bus while it was moving? I mean, he had plenty of time to get on when we all got on. No, I was picking up a quarter I found on the ground and my arm got caught in the door. Aha! Uh -huh. He was bending over to pick up a quarter off the ground. This just shows that he was in it for the money all along. Who even bends over to pick up a quarter, huh? Who even uses quarters? They're worthless. This shows he was so... Money is fucking money worthless and sometimes. That's why he's asking for such an egregious amount. I also asked him would he rather get hit by a train or a bus, and he chose bus. Aha! He chose this. My client was simply doing what he was asked to do. Hmm, this is getting juicy. Mm. Plaintiff, I can't wait to hear your response. Your Honor, are you really going to believe this crap? No one really wants to be hit by a bus. Let's look at the facts here. My client was hit by a bus, and the driver was Chinese. I would like to call Ooh. in one more witness to the case, the client's mother. Judy, do you mind coming up here, please? Oh, the judge is hot. All right, listen to me. Focus. You are Cody Nutkiss's mother, correct? I think so. After he was born and they took him to the nursery, all the babies fell over and there was just a big pile of babies. And they said, take one and go home. So I did. But I'm pretty sure he's mine. Okay. Oh my god. Now, Worst mother, mother ever. Is this what you wanted for your child? To be brutally struck down in the street by a bus? Oh no, I thought it would always be way cooler if he died in a plane crash. Then there'd be a whole news article about it. Well, you're so fucked up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That judge is really hot. Can I go home with you? <laughs> Motion granted. Yes, daddy. <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Here's Cody wins. Yes, yes! I won! I got five million dollars! I did it! I did it! Oh, 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 oh. oh come on! That, that's not fair! I, I have a wife! You, you can have her if we can win! I'm sorry, man. I tried. Oh, well, it's okay. You wanna come back to my house? My wife's making egg rolls. Hell yeah! So I won your court case. You are the best lawyer ever! I know. Well, technically, my mom won the case because she slept with the judge. And she should. He's a very beautiful man. Well, the good news is the $5 million has already cleared my bank account. And after removing necessary court fees and my attorney fees, this is what you're left with. Well, a court? <laughs> Jeez, a well, let me break okay. it down for you. So my consultation fee is $2 million. My attorney retainer fee is $1 million. And my court fees are another $2 million. So that ate up your $5 million. You should be lucky you're even getting this quarter. But I get hit by a bus. Well, you also got hit with court fees. Hey, do you mind holding this up for me again? Uh, sure. Swish. What is the most pain you have ever felt? <sighs> migraines, man. Migraines. Fuck migraines. Swear, I swear. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. Take care. See you guys in the next one. Peace.